chapter 1, lesson 3, comparing numbers. In this lesson, the kids need to be able to tell which is smaller from larger. Okay, so they're comparing two numbers. When they're comparing two numbers, it would be ideal to teach them just to look at a single place value. They do not need to look at the number as a whole. Okay, so as an example, on page 15... Okay, the problem says which is greater. So if we're comparing, we start with a hundreds place first. So according to the hundreds place, this is 2 and this is 3. So if it says which is greater, 3 is greater than 2. Therefore, this is greater. So no need to look at the rest of the numbers. Okay, so in this problem, it says which is smaller. So if we look at the hundreds place, the hundreds place are the same. Therefore, we move to the next. And if we look at the tens place, this is seven tens and nine tens. Therefore, seven is smaller than nine. Therefore, this is the smaller number. Looking at numbers can be stressful if you look at the whole number. So my suggestion is train your kids to look at one single place value at a time, starting with the hundreds, then move to the tens, then move to the ones. That concludes chapter one, lesson three. I'll see you in the next lesson.